Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm so glad you're here today. And if you're wondering why I'm looking down, it's because my eye is really red and I kind of don't want to show you guys. It's super irritated for my contacts. I honestly think I'm allergic to my own contacts, which totally sucks. Um, but I really wanted to film this look for you guys today and I thought it would go away, but it ended up staying throughout the whole video. So I'm so sorry if my red eye bothers you, but I did end up creating this look right here. I really love the way it turned out. Um, I used all drugstore affordable products. I've actually had this look in my head throughout the whole week and I'm so glad that I finally filmed it and I hope that you guys like it even though I have like this ugly red eye. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to keep looking down so you could just see the eyeshadow. <laughs> um, but if you're not already subscribed to my channel, Brittany Raquel, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three times a week. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys! Okay, starting off with the face, I'm going to go ahead and prime using my One Heck of a Blot Primer from Soap and Glory. And I'm just going to apply that all over. Then I'm gonna be taking my NYX Conceal and Contour Palette and I'm gonna take the pink shade and I'm gonna use that to correct the under eye veins that I have under my eyes. And so first I'm just gonna be applying like a thick layer and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Sephora Pro Brush. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Superstay Foundation and I'm going to be applying that with my Morphe Contour and Highlighting Sponge. Okay, and to go ahead and highlight and conceal under my eyes, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C6, and I'm basically going to place this all over, so under my eyes and also the center of my face, and also to even clean up that contour line. Just because my foundation was a little dark, so I was literally trying to put this everywhere that I could. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with the same sponge. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer with my Maybelline Fit Me at Loose Setting Powder under my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out any lines and then press that into the skin. And as you can see right here, this is when my eyes started to turn really red. And so I'm so sorry you have to look at that. But I did go to the eye doctor and it was because of my contacts. And I just needed to take a breather from them and do some eye drops. They were just really dry. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and bake my face and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Loose Setting Powder in the color Lace. And I'm basically going to place this um, in my T-zone and also to clean up that contour, basically in the same places that we use the concealer. I'm also using that same powder to go ahead and set the concealer on my lid. And then for eyeshadow today, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Self Palette. And I'm going to be taking this kind of peachy color. And I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. 
transition shade I cannot talk today and I'm gonna place that into the crease and above it um, but that wasn't dark enough for me so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this gray shade in the palette and I'm just placing that right on top the same places in the crease and above it and just kind of blowing it out then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff away that bake because like I said before I don't like leaving this on my face for too long because my face will get a little bit dry because it's super matte and then jumping back to the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take the medium brown from the palette and I'm going to start deepening up the crease and also the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease and I'm just using the same concealer, the Makeup Revolution one and I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just going to cut about like to the middle of my eye and then I'm just going to fill that whole lid in with a flat brush and the same concealer and then I'm just taking my finger to kind of blend out the edges into that brown so we have a nice seamless kind of blend. And then for the lid, I'm going to be using this ColourPop eyeshadow. It's called an eye pigment actually, and it's in the shade Daddy. And it's this beautiful purple. It was a little bit harder to work with with a brush. I feel like these shades work better with a finger, but I just went in with some different brushes and just like really packed it on all the way up into that crease line. And then I'm just taking that same medium brown we've been using and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner of my eye because I wanted a more like half cut crease look. And so I'm just deepening up the outer corner with this color and kind of blending it into the crease as well. Then for eyeliner, I'm using this NYX Vivid's Bright in the color Halo, which is just a yellow. And I'm actually taking that on a different brush. This is an art brush that I got from Michaels. It's just really tiny and defined. And as you can see right here, I'm going to be cutting the crease with this. And you just really want to take your time. As you can see, I'm going in very, very slow strokes and just kind of lifting up my brush. That's what helps me get it kind of even and not mess up because if you mess this up, you pretty much have to start all over and you do not want that so just take your time a lot of tutorials will usually speed this part up but i wanted to keep it at the same pace i was actually doing it just so you guys could see how i did it because i know it could be hard okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my maybelline align stiletto liquid eyeliner and i'm just gonna draw a line on my lash line because at first i just wanted a simple line but as you guys saw in the intro, I did end up doing a wing later on and I will show you guys that but for now we're just going to do a simple black line. And then for the lower lash line, I'm taking that same brown we've been using and I'm just going to go ahead and line my lower lash line with this color. Then taking the same purple we used on the lid, I'm going to go ahead and use that to go ahead and blend out that brown. And then I'm just touching up that dark brown one more time. Now going in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I decided to use this to hopefully brighten my eyes a little bit so you couldn't see the redness and make them look a little bit more white. Um, it didn't really work, but it looked nice with the look <laughs> at least. And then this is when I did decide to go in and go ahead and do a winged liner. Now I'm going in with this Maybelline Unstoppable Pencil Liner or Retractable Liner and I'm just going to go ahead and tight line my eyes with this. Then jumping to the face, I'm going to go ahead and bronze with this Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in the color Light Bronze. And I'm just going to basically contour and bronze up the face with this. And this was the first time I was using this brush. This is the Real Techniques Blush Brush and I really liked it for bronzer. And then I'm also going to be bronzing up my nose a little bit with a smaller kind of eyeshadow brush just to match everything and make everything look more cohesive. For highlight today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the color Molten Gold. And I'm just going to highlight my whole face with this. And 
for blush today, I'm going to be using this Milani blush in the color Luminoso, and I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheeks and also my nose. Then for mascara, I'm taking this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and I'm just going to use that to kind of prime my eyelashes for lashes. Then for false lashes today, I'm using my Ardell Wispies and I'm just going to pop those on. Then I'm taking this sparkly vanilla color from the palette and I'm just going to be using this to highlight my inner corner. Then for lips today, I'm taking my ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Echo Park and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. And that is pretty much it for this look guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I did want to use everything all drugstore and more affordable products so I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more tutorials for you guys. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys!